drives me nuts when private or blocked numbers call and it's just somebody trying to sell you something. Over the last few months, I made a few videos where I give these callers a run for their money and they keep calling me. And the worst part is, I don't always have my camera on to record it, but this time I did. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Are you interested in receiving a cash advance for your business? Yes, please. How long have you owned your business for, sir? We've been in business for four to seven years here. All right, congratulations on that. Does your business do at least 15000 a month? Yes, on we, average? we do double that, yeah. So, the last few months, you, you saved 30000 each month? Yes, indeed, sir. What type of business are you in? I, I run a car wash here. All right, and can I get your first name, please? My name is Elmer. Elma. Elmer. E-L-M-E-R. Okay. Elma. Okay, Elma. Like the cartoon character. Elmer. So it's like I'm hunting rabbits. That guy. All right. And your business is located in Alabama, correct? Yes, that is correct. All right. I'm going to bring on a senior friend and specialist on the line with us, and we're going to go over your program options and what we have available for you. And if you are interested in what we have to offer, we're going to see if we can get you funded within the 24 to 72 hours, okay? Oh, that sounds wonderful. Thank you, young man. All right, it's just going to be a brief hold to bring on that special. Okay, thank you. I know. You said you've been in your business for 47 years, correct? Yes, that is correct. It all started in my driveway when, with a bucket when I was seven. Now we've been washing cars for such a long time. Okay, okay. I like that music you're playing. Yeah, I like that a lot. It reminds me of my favorite place to go on vacation, an elevator. On an elevator? Sounds like elevator. Yeah, that's right. I like that a lot. I'm glad that you like the music. Yeah, good, good. Sure it's taking them a long time. What are they doing? Riding the elevator? It's just going to be a couple more moments. That's all right. It's good. The more music, the better. Good afternoon, this is Jerry. Hey, Jerry, I have an Elmer on the line. All right, you can send the man over, please. All right, Elmer, I'm going to leave you with Jerry, okay? All right, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Good afternoon, Elmer, this is Jerry. I'm a finance manager here at Capital Advanced Solutions. How are you today? I'm doing very well, Jerry. How about yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. What kind of business do you run? I run a car wash here. Oh, okay, cool. And about how long have you been in business? I've been running this business for 47 years. Wow, that's good. Okay, and how about how many employees do you have? We got about uh, two dozen employees right now. They are washing cars. At... Hey, Ben, make sure you get that hose pipe over there. It does kink up. We got about two dozen employees over here. They're real good people. Mostly high school kids for the summer right now, so they don't have so much work ethic. That's okay. Okay, and do you have your federal tax ID number handy? I do not have that on me at the moment, no. Okay, I would not be able to move forward with the conversation until you can... Provide that number and I can check you out online. Okay, let's see. Hold on a second. Let me see. My grandson runs the business side of this whole thing, so he would probably know. He would. Eric! Eric! Get over here! What do you want? Hello? Yeah, is this Eric? This is Eric. Who's this? Yeah, this is Jerry at Capital Van Solutions. Uh, your grandfather said he runs a car wash. Is that correct? That's right. Yes, Soapy Smiles. It's called Soapy Smiles? Soapy Smiles. That's right. His idea. I think it's a little cheesy, but no, I'll roll with it. That's cool. Okay, so uh, one of the first things we ask for a business owner is check them out online. Is your federal tax ID number? Do you have that handy, please? Federal tax ID number. Let's see. It's on your business license. Business life. You guys have a website I could check you out on? We we don't have a website because my grandfather he's a bit of a he's a bit of an old fashioned uh, guy there. He doesn't believe in you know the websites and all of that stuff. So we don't have a proper website. We were trying to get a website so we could get on the front page of Google, but that's a whole other story. Jerry, you still there? I'm still breathing, no problem. All right, good, good, good. How you have the, the business number handed? Yeah, I'm trying to my. This office is such a mess. My grandfather, he does not know how to keep a... Where is the business license? The what? The business license, Grandpa. We ha Where is it? In this pile of papers here or those piles of papers there? I don't know. I'm just washing cars. Would you put your top back on, please? Nobody wants to see that. I'm just trying to bring in some more customers. Hello, ladies. You are embarrassing me in front of Jerry. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. 
All right, here we go. Three, three. No, that's a phone number. One second. Having a good day so far? Still with me? Jerry. Earth to Jerry. I think he stopped breathing. Been there, done that. As long as they keep calling, I'm gonna keep documenting it. Keep an eye out for more calls and for other stuff too. There's a lot of stuff on the way. It's backed up like a like a like a toilet. Bad analogy. I'm back in business. I will see you again very very soon. <laughs>